I'm Kai, co-founder and CEO of Noiseless Acoustics, and I would say that I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a scientist, I'm a researcher, and I'm also a businessman. Okay. What is it that has taken humanity and society forward the most during the years? I think it's, it's science, it's technology, it's kind of being able to describe how things work and the inventions that that leads to. So mostly being able to describe how things work. And I think that can be applied, that thought of being able to explain how things work can be applied to something which we encounter every day. But we don't really usually think about it that much. To sound. So why? Why do I think it applies to sound? Well, every sound has a source. Every time you hear something, there's a source. Even, even the stuff you hear in this room, it's always a source. You know, unless it's kind of just in your head or something. But <laughs> yeah, mostly you can you know, count on there being a source. So I'll give you an example. There's a musician playing an instrument. They're hitting steel bars with a mallet. It's kind of hammer. So what really happens, right? You, you hear music, but what's, what's the stuff that's really happening before that? The mallet hits the bar. The bar moves. And then you get the sound. Right? It's the movement of the bar, it's the deformations of the bar that give you the sound. So if you really think about it, if you really look at the sound that you can record, it kind of describes what's happening. I'll like, give you a bit more details on that soon. But let's start with this example. So what's happening? The bar is moving, the bar is pushing the air around it, and when you push air, when you make air move, you get these small changes in pressure, and those propagate through the air at really quick speeds as sound waves. That's what you hear. So this blue line here in this picture shows the sound of the bar being hit. It happens to be a really simple sound. It perfectly describes the way the bar is moving. Right? That's what it does. That's what it shows you. It shows you the way the bar is moving. So let's take that same principle, that same thought, that same kind of way of thinking to something a bit more ex uh, exotic or a bit more difficult. The yellow thing here, do you guys know what that shows? It, it, well, it's, it's sound again, of course. I'm talking about sound. <laughs> so it's measuring, uh, or, or, or that's the result of measuring sound of recording sound, of measuring small changes in pressure in air. But you probably don't know what that is. I, I know what it is. It's, it's 40 milliseconds of data recorded from this place. That was a bit more than 40 milliseconds, but the thing you saw was just 40 milliseconds of that. So that's the sound of electricity. That's something that you hear in places like the substation here. I'll give you another example. Again, the yellow thing here shows 40 milliseconds of recorded data of changes in pressure. And these changes always have a source, right? Sound has a source. It looks really random and erratic, kind of random and erratic, right? You, you can't really see any pattern there. So what could make a noise like this or a sound like this? It's the sound of a leak in a pipe. If you have a container that contains a lot of air, you have like five or seven bars of pressure, that's a lot of pressure, and a small hole in it, what happens is that the air starts to flow out of the hole at really high speeds. And when something moves in air at really high speeds, Again, it makes the air move. That causes small changes in pressure that propagates 
at high speeds throughout the air, and that's sound. So again, what you could hear was the source. You could hear the leak. Okay, so now we have, I think, some really good examples that kind of illustrate that sound really describes something. It's not just something you hear, it really describes what's happening at the source. So wouldn't it be great to be able also to see where that sound is coming from? Because we know that sound has a source. I'll start with an example which actually doesn't have anything to do with sound. Here you can see my hand holding this cold object. You can see that my hand is warm, my fingers are a bit colder, and the object is you know, colder than my hand. So this is heat. This is taken with an infrared camera. What if we would take a picture of the same thing with an acoustic camera? Then you would see where sound comes from. So this actually shows where sound is coming from. It's an acoustic camera. I you know, know what it shows because I'm one of the guys who designed this thing that we're using here. There's a sound with a source as well. <laughs> so, we can see sound. We can see where the stuff is coming from. We can see where the sound of, you know, whatever is coming from. So let's try applying that to the two last examples which I showed you just a while ago. Electricity and leaks. So here you can see where the sound of electricity is coming from in this example. We can actually tell a lot of things just by looking at the location and the signal that's coming from there. But I won't go into the details of that. But this is, I think, a really good example of sound being able to describe things. Let's try applying it to the example with the leak. We can see exactly where the small hissing sound is coming from. And this picture here is actually taken in a really noisy environment. So by just focusing on this specific type of sound which describes a leak, even in a noisy environment we can find where it is. So the point here is that every sound has a source. Sound really describes things, and sound is everywhere, even here, even, even sounds that you can't hear. And if we're able to use that information, if we're able to turn all that information into something useful, then we're suddenly a lot better at explaining how things work. So then, now we get back to the start of the presentation where I said that I think you know, the thing that drives humanity forward is being able to explain how things work. And I think sound is one way of doing it. Thank you. <laughs>